Now, as many of you know, I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, and they both have a deep, loving relationship to chocolate. So today's recipe is dedicated to them. I'm showing you guys how to make my clean and delicious whole wheat chocolate chip pancakes. Now this recipe is a blender recipe, meaning all I'm gonna do is put all of my ingredients into my blender and blend it together. Just keep in mind, whenever you're making a blender recipe, you wanna put all the liquids in first and then your dry ingredients, because that is gonna make for easy blending. So into my blender goes one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a quarter cup of egg whites, which is two large eggs, or you could use one whole egg, a half a cup of unsweetened applesauce, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then on to my dry ingredients, I have one cup of white whole wheat flour. Now the whole wheat flour is definitely a little bit denser, a little bit grainier than regular white flour. So if you are baby stepping your way into healthy eating, try doing a half a cup of the wheat flour mixed with a half a cup of regular white flour, and then you can slowly adjust your palate to going full whole wheat when you're ready. Then I've got two teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and some fresh ground cinnamon. I'm gonna pop my lid on and blend this up till I have a nice, thick, but pourable pancake batter. FYI, if you wanted to make this pancake batter ahead of time, then store the batter in an airtight container in your fridge. That would last you up to five days and then you would be ready and prepared to make pancakes at the drop of a hat. Then to make my pancakes, I've got a nice big 12 inch non-stick saute pan that I'm gonna heat up over a medium heat. Now the key when you're making pancakes is you want your pan to get hot, but not too hot because you don't want the outside of the pancakes to cook before the inside of the pancakes. So what I usually do is use that first round of pancakes as my tester and then adjust the heat as needed. So once the pan is heated up, I just spray it down with a little bit of cooking spray. You could also do this with a little bit of butter or a little bit of coconut oil. And then I drop my pancakes about two tablespoons per pancake into the pan and I'll get four pancakes into this 12 inch pan. Once they start to set up, I'll sprinkle just a couple chocolate chips on top of each pancake and then I watch for the bubbles. When you start to see these little bubbles forming around the edge of your pancake, that's how you know your pancakes are ready to flip. So you just get right up underneath there and flip them over. The key is to get nice golden brown on the outside and of course the pancakes cooked all the way through. Once they're all flipped, they'll go for about another minute or two and the pancakes are ready to go. So then I just get them out of the pan and I will repeat that process until all the pancakes are made. And if you're making them the same size that I'm making them, you're gonna get around 20, 22 pancakes. And guys, if chocolate is not your thing, there's plenty of other clean and delicious add-ins you could put into your pancakes like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, walnuts, pecans. I mean, really the options are endless. Then you can finish your pancakes with whatever pancake toppings you enjoy. Sometimes I do coconut oil, sometimes I do almond butter, and sometimes it's just good old fashioned maple syrup. Now, if you guys like this recipe, give me a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more clean and delicious breakfast recipes, just like this one, leave me a comment down below. Remember to print any of my recipes. You can do that at cleananddelicious.com. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers like blueberries, raspberries, walnuts, pecans. I mean, really the endless are, let's do that again. And sometimes we go with simple, good old fashioned, old fashioned from the top. Thanks, boop. Three, two. Now.